Theo Vaughn up in the house. Ooh. Gucci gang, son. Gucci gang. Even text Gucci gang. Good to be out here, dude. It's then, good to be had, man. This is the gayest little microphone. It feels like a. <laughs> it's all up in your grill. Oh, it feels like a like a like a the weakest one arm black kid is trying to give me a hug. <laughs> That's what it feels like, dude. Like if you go like this, go black skill. It's so like whoa. Somebody feed this boy and then bring him back to the hug ring. You know. Because he ain't ready for fucking real two arms. This dude ain't ready. Hug him with one arm. Dude, I remember being at the library when I was young. And this is back when they had um, books, you know. What do they have now? I mean, you know, I, mean I don't even fucking know. Are libraries still open? Who's in there? Just people trying to finger each other? <laughs> <laughs> Who's in a fucking library? You grew up in the South? Yeah, man. I'm from the South. Anybody else from the South? <laughs> Heck yeah. Second place in the Civil War. <laughs> Runner up. Isaac Newton had this theory of gravity and motion, but I, uh, Einstein's the guy who figured out that time and space is a fabric. Oh, wow. And that gravity bends it. Like, he just was, this guy was so brilliant. He sat in his office, and he was having a thought experiment. And he imagined the more mass you had, the more you bended this fabric of space and wow. time. Wow. It's fucking crazy. That's crazy. Imagine That's then crazy. going and telling somebody. Imagine telling yeah, your neighbor right. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The neighbor like, would be like, bro. Little dog. Where's Larry? I like him better. <laughs> yeah. I just saw a guy outside of the DSW shoes, and he uh, he's fucking talking about bending space and time, bro. Yeah. Dude, he's the best, man. I, uh, That's crazy. Imagine what he fucked. You think he fucked, like, awesomely, or you think no, he was, like. He fucked nasty at once. Really? Nasty really? science ladies. <laughs> not that they're not attractive science girls. But no, but I mean, oh. you think he was like, you know, like a basic kind of sexual guy. You think he was like doing wild stuff. He was doing or, equations. He was like, let me, yeah, why don't we just drop me from 100 feet in his <laughs> vagina? You know, if you want to do that. I wish I knew. <laughs> what, what was that like? Oh, my dad was old, man. My dad was uh, 70 years old when, uh, when I was born. Wow. Um, <laughs> Is that right? Thank you for laughing at my daddy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's right, he really was. Uh, which, my mom was 32, which basically makes me a product of, uh, of loose skin and loose morals. Uh, here. Yeah. Uh, but it was cool though, like the quality time we would spend, like after, uh, after I was born, uh, my dad had a stroke, uh, so we were both learning to walk at the same time. And we'd have like, we'd have like little races for cookies, you know? And, uh, and uh, we <laughs> we play games like catch or don't. <laughs> and, uh, and my favorite is Dad sleeping, or is he no longer with us? <laughs> the Dutch are so aerodynamic. They move good. You no, know, you ever seen a Dutch? They're really aerodynamic. They're they're what? What are you doing with your hands? Lean face, <laughs> lean headed. <laughs> no, they're not. It's four inches cheek to cheek. They're big people, man, dude. Do you know how big they are? The Dutch, oh, they're very tall, but yeah. they're very aerodynamic, very... Aerodynamic. The downhill people, they call them, dude. <laughs> Look at... Pull up a Dutch. So what kind of girls do you like? Oh, man. I like all kinds of girls. Really big, small, sleeping. Uh, <laughs> who hasn't? Uh, dated a lazy-eyed girl for a little bit. Uh, don't laugh, man. She's a hell of a skeet shooter. <laughs> That's my favorite joke, man. I used to get mad and get up in her face and go, pull, and just watch her eye go out like that. <laughs> That's my favorite joke. But, uh, I don't know, man. I like to date a homeless lady, man, because after the date, you could just drop her off anywhere. <laughs> but I like, I, like a, I like a strong girl, you know? I like a, a sturdy gal, man. Uh, you know, kind of girl who... You know, get into some things, you know what I mean? These skinny girls, man, like making love to a can of pickup sticks, you know? <laughs> I'm serious, man. It's like making love to a pillowcase full of deer antlers. I need a freaking sturdy, man. I need a girl that's got a little harumph, you know? I need a girl that's got some her in her, you know? Maybe a little decent in the tank. The kind of girl that'll just snatch a goat off a bridge if she has to. <laughs> you know, the kind of girl that gets into some things. You know what I'm saying? Cause these, these skinny girls just don't do it for me, man. Uh, I got a girl for you. You do? Yeah, she's got a speech impediment. She does this a lot. <laughs> if, she, if she can cook, I will take her. Man. I'm serious. 
<laughs> I'm serious, Michael. A lot of women don't cook anymore, man. And here's my thought. It's true, gentlemen. Look at us, hungry clap. You hear that hunger clap? <laughs> You hear that hunger clap? And here's my thoughts, ladies. If God didn't want you to cook, then why did he naturally put milk and eggs in your body? <laughs> wow. Ingredients, people, ingredients. I'll have the crepe. I'll have the crepe, sister. <laughs> are you, yeah, are you, a, are you, are you a porno guy? You watch like Red Tube or whatever oh, the fuck it, these days? I've been out there, man. I've been in the, it's nasty out there. <laughs> it is nasty. It's it? nasty, dude. I was just talking about this on my podcast. It's nasty. Some of these videos and people doing all these butt activities and everything. And <laughs> butt activities? You know what the thing is? They though, are. Like you just got to, it's constantly escalating. Like yeah. everyone's trying to one up each other in the porn industry. I don't want to be in it They anymore. are, aren't they? It's just too they much. They sure are. I don't need seven guys. No. Yeah. What happened to just one-on-one? It's unbelievable. Why, why does there have to be a gangbang every time? Yeah. yeah. And it's so it's rough. It's like whack-a-mole so... too. If you see some of those gangbangs, <laughs> oh dude, that God. shit gets to... It's like urban whack-a-mole on really some of them. <laughs> and Andrew Santino has the best joke. He talks about how a lot of black gentlemen always have their sneakers on during uh, pornography. <laughs> and socks. That's aggressive. I isn't? never I, thought of that Why shit? do they? For grip? You really rail at home? Grip and probably Bro. athlete's foot is rampant. And also... I, mean, I don't know who the fuck been on this carpet. Or this it goes floor. back to <laughs> indoor-outdoor. Like Those are kind of outdoor <laughs> shoes. Yeah. And they have them on indoors. <laughs> Full circle with Theo Vaughn. And I don't care French about the French, thing. dude. Wow, but have you been there or are you just I've like been there. prejudice? I'm probably prejudiced too. Have you been to France? Yeah. Have you been to Montreal? I've been to Montreal, yeah. You didn't love the French? I love the Canadians. French Canadians. Yeah, I'll take them. You love Canadians, period. I love Canadians, period. But do you love French Canadians? Yes. Because they are Canadian. Little... But French, mm. bro. Not into French? I, and nobody is. They make great wine. Yeah. No, that's not true. People go to Paris every year. Yeah, but they leave. <laughs> it's not the kind of place people are milling around, man. Uh, black people don't really know. They don't differentiate between indoors and outdoors. <laughs> what do you mean? Outdoors can be indoors, dude. What do you mean? Outdoors can be indoors. Black person, you can put them outdoors and you put them indoors same volume levels, same speed. There's no inside voice. There's no. There's zero inside. There's voice. no etiquette when you go indoors. Well, they just don't. I don't. I don't think they believe in like a lot of structures and I don't. Know, I don't want to say woodwork, but I want to say overall that they the difference between indoors and outdoors when it comes to it's most. So black incredibly, people, it's so incredibly vaguely racist. It's so like, funny though. Do you think there is more porn stars or murders in the world? Mm, I think murders. You know, I actually know a guy. I shouldn't say this on here, but I'm not going to say names, but I know a guy who killed someone and he said, and this isn't me saying this, dude, I wouldn't do something like this, but he said that it fucking feels good. <laughs> and he did say that. Dude, Koreans are full of dreams, man. <laughs> they are. We saw this Asian guy, could have been Korean, he was fell off a building when he hit the bottom. <laughs> Dreams came out of him, bro. By dreams, do you mean guts and blood? No, I just mean you could just feel the fucking fragments of ideas <laughs> and hope and imagination fly out of his body. Hey. I want to thank everybody from F Fighter and the Kid. You know, I was a, uh, and that's a, a podcast where they have this man who is a fighter and he got, he got beat up and he got attacked a couple times and he couldn't fight anymore because his brain couldn't handle it. He was on the brisk of freaking getting that you know, a brush with that tism. And so his brain, you know, told him, we got to shut it down. And so he quit fighting and he met up with this other man who's kind of aging, but he's this, you know, a sweet, funny guy and he got strong legs, the other guy. And their names are Brendan and Brian and the podcast is called The Fighter and the Kid. And one of them uses moisturizer. And one of them needs moisturizer. Skin. I have yeah, terrible, I have, ter I have bad skin. skin. 